Okay, hello and welcome back to part five of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Uh, when we last left off, we made the decision to go through door five, so we're about to see how that plays out. And today we have... I'm bold. I'm also bold. Uh, I am going to be playing Snake. I'm a llama. I'm gonna be Santa. I'm Panda. Uh, um... Yeah. Clover is four, right? Yeah, that's you. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm Rav and I'm gonna be um reading for Clover. Yes. I am Darkus and I'll be playing Junpei. Oh. <laughs> I'm Flute and I'll be um June and also Lotus. And then there's me and I'll be doing the narration, so I think that is everyone. We've also got Inky on the piano. Hey, wait! Junpei's card echoed across the room. The four people walking toward the door stopped and turned back toward him. I want to go for door 5-2. The words were scarcely out of his mouth when June spoke up. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? Bitch, I'm dumping you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. He turned around to look at her. No, you can't. I can't take you with me. Why? We're... Well, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Blood and stuff? June opened her mouth as if to say something, but instead closed it again and looked at the floor. Junpei felt an ache in his chest at her clear distress, but the choice was not his to make. There was nothing else he could do. Junpei turned away from June, doing his best to silence his turbulent emotions. Please. Let me go into door five. Seven scratched his head and looked at the young man. Man! Now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet to number is five, right? If we're going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. Make him sound like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> Snake turned to Ace. Alright, please take good care of Clover. If Has you know he ever mean. opened his eyes at all? Oh, alright, brother. If she explodes, I'll have your head. <laughs> oh, you said it, okay. But alright, brother. That's, that's fine, brother. Nah. Don't go away! It's not the same. You need to listen to me, Clover. Look, look into my eyes. <laughs> go to door <laughs> four with the others. No! Don't be so selfish! Snake, if you're gonna explode, you're gonna explode! Snake's tone was harsh. <laughs> Tears welled up in Clover's eyes. She bit her lip and did her best to fight them off. Let's play and laugh at her. Snake's expression <laughs> softened, and he put his arms around Clover. He held her close and whispered into her ear. Don't mess this up. <laughs> Just relax! Sorry, I'm gonna Clover! <laughs> this is what Snake sees, nothing. It looked as though he whispered two or three more words, but whatever they were, Junpei didn't hear them. He could not but wonder what the other man had said. Snake pulled back from his sister, his eyes kind and inquiring. How would you know? <laughs> okay, I understand. Her voice was barely audible from where Junpei stood. I just said the thing. Before long, new teams were assembled. Those going to door five, seven, Snake, and Junpei. Math. Those, <laughs> those going to do door four, Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. More math. That's too much math for me. I can't handle that. Oh my god, you babies. Seven, Snake, and Junpei that scan their numbered bracelets in quick succession. That one part where it just said one plus four equals five, though, that blew my mind. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second, maybe Snake's an albino. Uh, Whoa, I <laughs> cannot believe that. How, how uh, did you know that? The screen of the red showed three asterisks. All right then, let's go. Junpei glanced around one last time, his hand resting on the lever of the red. Okay. Please be careful. Concern was written plainly across her face. Junpei looked her in the eye and gave what he hoped was a reassuring nod. He's gonna die. He pulled a lever. A lever cronk. <laughs> Wrong lever. Wrong lever. These are my last words. With a sharp <laughs> think of a lock releasing, the door swung open, 
Ahead of them in the small hallway were the pitiful remains of the ninth man. For a moment, Junpei froze. Try as he might, his eyes would not leave the corpse, and his feet would not leave the floor. Seven, too, seemed paralyzed. Snake, on the other hand, ah! seemed unconcerned. He walked calmly down the bloody hallway and only stopped when he realized his companions were not following him. How do you know? And when he stepped into intestines. <laughs> snake, snake confirmed for psychopath. Do you intend to kill me? <laughs> I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? He hadn't even bothered to turn around. His head was at most slightly cocked toward one shoulder. Junpei and Seven looked at one another, nodded, and threw themselves through the door. As they did, a cold tone sounded from the left wrists of all three men. Seven and Junpei looked down at their bracelets. On both of them, and on snakes, a red skull had flickered to life. The detonator had begun its countdown. They had scarcely processed this information when... Bye-bye. With a metallic slam, the numbered door behind them swung <laughs> shut. Unless they could find the device that would deactivate the detonators on their wrists, they would not be leaving the hallway. Hey! Where's the dead? The fear and urgency in Seven's face reflected what all three of them felt. Junpei spun around, searching desperately for the dead. That face of concern. He found it easily enough. It was on the wall next to the closed door labeled five. Found it! Found it, right here! As he yelled, he struck the scanner with his hand. The other two scrambled to follow suit. It's a shame, it's a shame Snake can't see it. As soon as they finished, Snake threw the lever down. <laughs> right? Oh! How did he know? He can feel By the it. way, do we pretend to hear those sound effects? <laughs> oh, he, he can probably hear their- Duh, duh, duh. He can probably hear their footsteps. I think it's going for it first. Well, oh it looks God. like it stopped. As he spoke, Junpei wiped the sweat from his forehead with a trembling hand. God damn it! Things gonna give me a heart attack. I was distracted for That's a bit. He also stood out in seven seconds, and the corners of his mouth were twitching. Jumpy, are you all right? Are you guys okay? I did. They could hear anxious voices, <laughs> muffled but distinct, from the other side of the door. Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. They heard relieved <laughs> sighs, and even through the door, the three men could feel the tension disperse. All right, we're moving along. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. <laughs> they heard footsteps <laughs> moving away, and before long, they were alone again. Junpei looked around. The hallway hit a dead end, twenty or thirty feet from where they stood. A thick iron wall blocked their way. Try as they might to force it, the wall refused to move. To the left, however, was a wooden door that looked positively inviting by comparison. Why didn't they see that first? <laughs> In the middle of it was a plaque that read First Class. Fancy! A first Class Cabin, huh? We got the best door! <laughs> well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? And party. Tally ho! Yeah. Excelsior! Without hesitation, Snake <laughs> opened the door and stepped inside. Seven followed closely behind him. Junpei moved to follow them as well, but... He stopped, just short of the th threshold, and looked back, not knowing why. Take it away, pandas. Lying in the small hallway was a man's body, or at least what was left of it. He tried hard to avoid looking at the grisly scene, but it just wouldn't leave his mind. What had once been a man's internal organs now looked like so much vomit, as though something had chewed up and spit out the better part of his torso. It was hideous, but worse still, it was cruel. It was hard to believe the thing on the floor had once been human, the black pool of thick blood. The lumps of glistening flesh spread across the floor. The awkward, twisted angle of shredded intestines. Tangle. Someone been vomiting a lot. <laughs> the head wrenched to some grotesque, unnatural position. Too bad I can't see it! <laughs> the man's glasses lay next to his head. 
the lenses were cracked and the frame bent and distorted. And next to the glass a lay a bracelet. The I number might be dead, but I'm still Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have more comments. Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from the ship. Two, uh, you explode. Oh, wait, your heart rate <laughs> reaches zero. <laughs> In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or detects that the wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Get it? Zero. <laughs> Suddenly, Junpei felt his stomach convulse, then a knot of muscle gripped his throat. Oh god, I can't handle it. He clapped his hands over his mouth and ran to the first class cabin. Too bad the bomb isn't in your stomach anymore. The atmosphere changed immediately. <laughs> the room was gorgeous, and despite the apparent age of the ship, none of the worse for wear. None the worse for wear. He looked around. Seven and Snake were nowhere to be seen. There were two doors on the right side of the room. He opened the one on his right and went through. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> on the other side of the door was a short hallway. He jogged down the hallway, opened the door at the other end, and peeked through. There they were, to his right, busy examining something. He stepped through the door and walked toward them. What's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? Uh, so I would assume, but I can't exactly tell, though. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another way out? We looked around a little, but then this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door, we're fucked! <laughs> 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 uh, yes! I, I see eloquently put. Junpei stepped away from the door and, and looked around the room. The room they were in. Let's just smash it. The room they were in looked like a bedroom. He figured the room he'd originally entered was the living room or whatever passed for one on a ship. All right, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys! Well, you, can just, you can just ram your face into the door with that strength. Yeah. yeah. We use we use Jun Junpei as a uh, as a ramming that device. Yes, that's what I'm I mean. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah, there's gameplay. Yep. <clears throat> finally, gameplay! I can't believe it. Oh my god! Uh, I thought it was a myth. We can actually move around finally. <laughs> oh, a bed. I was <laughs> dying over here. I was dying. I couldn't handle it anymore. Man, only one pillow on that bed. What kind of cabin is this? Oh, it took Junpei by surprise. <laughs> Snake, usually so calm and collected, suddenly began to move. He slithered <laughs> across the floor. <laughs> he stared about the room almost frantically, clearly looking for something. He's becoming Snake. No, Junpei thought not staring. After all, he's blind. He's actually an animorph. Blind or not. Snake oh my goodness. <laughs> Snake was clearly attempting to do something. At last, Junpei could no longer contain his curiosity. What you're doing? Snake waited what a moment you before doing? answering. I was there. <laughs> I heard something strange. <laughs> something strange? Ah, uh, well, never mind. Oh, I'm fine. Slither, slither, slither. It doesn't well, seem to be anything suspicious. Who are you? <laughs> I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more. Advanced than those of most humans, I especially you, Junpei. I notice even the slightest of noises. Right. Are you gonna tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? Ha! No, such a thing would be impossible. I can hear the shit coming out of your mouth. However, <laughs> 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 um, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. I'm a bat! I'm a bat, Junpei! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> if it oh, wasn't yeah. obvious by my name, I'm a bat. That's right, you are a snake. <laughs> Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago. You were at her side. Immediately. So that was... Hmm... 
I can see through my tongue, Junpei. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. Keep that in mind for when I try to kill you later. And should someone attempt to have a fight with me, I'm quite confident that I could defeat them. Oh Junpei was gosh. somewhat taken aback by this revelation. He stared at Snake, skeptical. Have you seen my knife, Junpei? <laughs> <laughs> oh you don't believe me, do you? Care to give me a try? I must <laughs> warn you. You'll no doubt regret it. Well then. Clover! Someone help me! <laughs> well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's assume our search, shall we? Watch your back, Junpei. With a small, self-satisfied <laughs> smile, Snake turned and walked away from Junpei. Wow, that alliteration. Oh, Inky. She said, I do hope Santa murders Junpei with wow. a knife. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> wow. That wasn't Inky, that was me. Um, no one's gonna get that, by the way. What's this? This isn't a score. Is this a map of the ship? Whoa! A map? Let me see, uh, Junpei. Uh, oh, wait. Of the ship here. Yeah. That I imagine would prove very helpful. Only for me, because you're not going to see it. Junpei, remember what I said it. about my knife. <laughs> 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 Okay. Thanks, Bull. We love you too. <laughs> oh, it's this thing. Whoa, what is that thing? Whoa. What thing? Which oh, thing? It's a musical note thing. She Sing cool. a song, Snake. Safe as luck. I would know. <laughs> it's one of those style locks. It doesn't have a key. We just need to get the dials in the right place, and it'll open! Did you find anything, Seven? Nope. Oh wow, waiting. <laughs> oh, you're very helpful. <laughs> I also found nothing. Whoa, you're really helpful! Since Seven seems too strong it's for my the life. piano, and Junpei did all the work finding the note sheets, I think... Snake should be the one reading and playing them. Or we can let Inky just play the yes, notes. Yes, that's, that's a wonderful idea. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. I just flew in from New York and boy, are my arms tired. What? I think, what Wait. the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? here all week. Try the veal. That's not a Mike 7. Let me pretend. It's just a shower head. Let me have my imagination. Please, you're going to go crazy. Well, I mean, he's going to die anyway. I mean, just let him have a little bit of fun beforehand. Well then. Uh, I think you need help. <laughs> you got ship fever. What do you call it? Cabin ship fever. Yeah, cabin fever. Cabin fever. It's a heavy piece of paper that's been folded in half. Whoa. It has SCORE painted on the front of it. Because we just SCORED! <laughs> yeah. SCORE? That's gonna mean MUSICAL SCORE! Oh. If that's true, then the score we just found was probably in here. At least at some point. So let's find it. Come on, don't waste time. You can do it, Junpei. I'm not really doing anything. It's in the huh? fire? There's something in the back. Let's see if I can reach it. Just a little... Idiot. That seems like a God smart idea. God damn it, that's hot! What were you thinking, Tinkin? You aren't real smart, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I got hit in the head as a baby. Come on, of course it's gonna be hot. It's a fucking fire! <laughs> that's like being surprised you're cold in Antarctica. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Even a monkey knows it shouldn't stick its hand in a fire. You're dumber than a monkey. <laughs> Dude. Well, you're not really helping all seven, so shut up. What if Zero oh, is um, actually uh -huh. just really ashamed of uh, his or her music writing ability? <laughs> I get it. You're gonna use the bass, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We just gotta fill this thing up with water. Alright, then. <laughs> Why would anyone use a vase as a vase? This is a suitcase <laughs> made of leather, the color of rich mahogany. Mahogany. 
I can just shit it right. Looks like there's nothing in it. Ah, I'm so glad we're finding all this music sheet, and now we just gotta rely on someone to play the piano. Yeah, when is anyone going to do that? We can always summon Inky to play the piano. Oh my gosh, toilet paper! Wait, is that- I mean, it's important! Oh no! Is that the toilet paper? No, it's like okay. I told you when we'll get there. <laughs> a vase? A vase? Where did you find this? It's a vase, you dumbass! A vase? We were in the kitchen. <laughs> Say. You asshole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I see. Amazing. Well, I suppose that might be useful for bludgeoning seven over the head. <laughs> These murder I like aren't even uh, under uh, uh, That's not what we're using it for, you murderers. <laughs> well, that's not what you're using it for, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I hit you in the head with it first. I like him and I like you. <laughs> Thanks, Panda. The bathtub's full of gross, cloudy water. Ew. All right. Let's do this. It'd be too hard to fill this face up. <laughs> it's a it's a separate mini game. Unless you let seven do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so let's just carry it carefully. Huh? This faucet is really hard to turn. There's already water in there. Man, it doesn't matter how hard I yanked on it. This thing will budge. In which Jinpei dreams of yanking uh, on hard things. What for you to turn? <laughs> <laughs> Pandas no. Ha! Nice turn. Well, you let a man give it a shot. <laughs> oh! Oh! I noticed there's two men groaning in a room. Damn <laughs> 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 it! Nothing. My as well. In which even yeah, Seven realizes how hard it is. <laughs> Like something a uh, knob in place. Might I point out uh, if that if you can't do a seven, guess we might as well give up. Might I point out that Snake's just in the other room and all he can hear is your phone? Don't fight, give me a hand. On this. <laughs> I'll give you a hand, all right. All right. Why don't we? Don't just put there. Drain this water. Why don't you just use that, that water? Good plan. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. What is your logic? Where's that thing? This is way too complicated. Take your chunk out of B and up, get it out. Damn water! I'm it's working like my eyebrows so hard right now. Fire. <laughs> oh, wink, wink. Are you hard enough already? <laughs> oh, the soggy now? sheets of paper, yes. <laughs> 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 totally usable. Well, if you find a blow dryer, it'll be easier. You just want to talk about blowing, don't you? Oh my god, are they gonna get the water for the fire? Oh, they did, okay. <laughs> the thing yeah, is, it's it's the it's water is pretty like heavy. It. I can't just throw it at the grate, though. I gotta pour the water right into the fire itself. <laughs> if they wouldn't have drained the water, perhaps. Oh. Alright, time to pull this fire out. About time, buddy. Let's do it. Here we go. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <turn> that back. <laughs> Good job. For oh once. God, I'd say that paper should be soaked <laughs> and burnt. Yeah. What are we gonna do with some Man, of these? This paper is invincible. Half burnt. <laughs> All right. I'll just pull this out now. Don't worry. You bird. Oh. Let's pull down the sleeves. Honestly, if he's wearing uh, some kind of synthetic fabric, that's not such a bad idea. As Junpei tucked the plate into his pocket, Seven cried out and stumbled, his balance lost. He threw out a hand and caught the wall in time to steady himself and avoid the floor, but his face was flushed and he looked startled. Oh hey, Seven, what the hell was that? Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. Seven rubbed a couple of fingers across his brow, then shook his head as if to clear it. What the hell is wrong with me? You surely become a monster. <laughs> Seven smash! 
<laughs> oh god! First memory loss. No, I'm getting dizzy for no reason. Memory loss. Junpei couldn't hide the surprise in his voice. Seven, for his part, seemed unconcerned. Right, guess I haven't told you, have I? Tell the rest of them. But that must have been before you showed up with your ugly face. Run along! Forward a bit. But I don't remember Jack from before I woke up here. Didn't realize I, didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, why sense. you're an amnesiac? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're not really right, are you, Junpei? <laughs> what is amnesia? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that's true. Can, can you still tell me what amnesia is, please? I'm so confused. Memory loss. Just said the word. Peace. Junpei paused for a moment and stared at Seven. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. Besides, I'm really, really dumb. If you really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or used or something? Sure, I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up here on D-Deck. That was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, I worry about something I can't change. Fury time. Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. I'll figure it out eventually. That's... that's it? Jimmy, shut the fuck up. Fury <laughs> <laughs> time. I won't you can't remember everything, already. right? Yep. And like, yeah. when Bane first introduced them, he said some of the people there know the nonary game, so my theory now is that he's a survivor of the last nonary game. Oh shit! Oh! Wow. And that's why he go can't for... remember anything, and the others this can barely remember how they were caught. Um... I I have a theory, but it's a lot more mundane. He seems to be showing um uh, symptoms of a concussion. He's dizzy and he has temporary memory loss. Oh, right, that's enough well. talking for now. Let's get back to work. At least you're more reasonable. <laughs> Second group Junpei looked at the younger man, wasn't sure how to interpret it, and turned to walk away. Somehow, though, Junpei didn't find his reassurances very reassuring. Junpei, don't be such a no-sayer. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all this paper? Burn it. Yes. Burn it for heat. Burn it for the gods. Oh, what we're doing with the paper, I'm like we're placing sand. it there, and then Snake plays us a pretty scene. He has <laughs> good a place as any to put this music we found. Just got a melody. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then the stack of glass plays on top of it. Ah, the glass. All right, good. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> now I can play the music. I didn't know I play piano. Junpei, would you be so kind as to play the piano? I am unable to uh, use it. Oh, come on! And of course, oh, everybody knows I'm that. I'm sure I needed to tell you, but um, uh, the keys on this piano are not what you uh, might expect them to be. You're oh no uh, C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. How did he know that again? Yeah, how did he know oh, that? Oh, he probably placed his hands on the piano and listened yeah, to the you, notes. And the other just ignored If you it. investigate the piano earlier, he uh, notices that. Yeah. Right. Okay. You must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? Uh. Yeah, sure, I'll look up a guide. Sure. Alright, let's give this a shot. How good I know how to read cheap music. Alright, I'm just gonna go I'm for gonna, it. I'm gonna be so smart about this. The F. A G C Done. F G NK, can you please some sound effects or something? C uh A F G C It's like um, twinkle that's twinkle little star. The actual sound in the game I would assume, so we have double pianos right now. Yeah. Yes, you'll hear the melody in a second. No, we won't be able to hear the melody. The game playing was off. You'll hear it in the video. <laughs> That's not a second. Okay, it's over. Amazing. Okay. Like, why did we, why did we collect so many music again? 
Music's not my forte. Wait, what was that noise? Junpei! Ah, you scared me! We did it! Yeah. Ah. Looks like it worked! Oh yeah! I heard <laughs> something unlock over by the exit. Let's go! Why exactly did we gather three blades if we only played one? You stack them on top of each other because each one has different notes on okay, it. Okay, if I look like our plates. Yeah. That's some insane piano playing. Stand! Bow! Be seated! Well! Well! <laughs> well! 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 At least Snake Pick is funny. <laughs> yes. I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking oh, of. Oh, it was the classroom bell. Yeah, the do 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, Zero what? was. The uh, can I... No, I can't go back to the dialogue. Oh, well, okay. Uh, the palace in London that plays host these days to. Uh, that plays host these days to the Houses of Parliament. Uh, you've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Who does it? <laughs> well, I mean, we are Japanese, so... <laughs> Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. London? The capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately! And go to London. Man, they can like ride the London Eye. They can like, I don't know. All right, <laughs> let's go. And some scary things beyond that door. Cookie, you, you found, found it. it. You found it! Yay!